What's up guys, so today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you my Redline Flight Pro XL bike that I got for Christmas. Now this is not going to be my slow talking videos like I usually do because I don't want to be stupid or anything like my old videos. I, I aim for more subscribers with better content. So, let's go with this. So, we got a 20 inch back tire along with the front tire. Uh, the Tioga tires are pretty nice. Um... You got great grip. I'm not sure if you can... Yeah, you can see the detail kind of well. Um, we got a... Basically, the entire bike is all made by Redline, except for some of the other parts that Redline does not provide, as far as I know, at least. So, damn it, pants ripped again. Just the knees, though. Anyway, nobody cares about that. So, we got Tioga tires with the NV wheels on both the back and the front side. We also got a... a uh, Tioga seat with a Redline seat clamp. Um, I don't know what the post is made by. Maybe it's, I think it might also just be by Tioga, I guess. But it's called the Spider uh, seat. Anyway, nobody cares about that. Any, Anyway, uh, we got Tektro brake system along with this nice gold looking cable, uh, as you can see right there. It's pretty nice. And then the frame itself is just red and white uh, with a little bit of black on there. That sticker did not come with the bike. I just threw it on there because I thought it was cool. Sort of. It's like a decently loud hub for the back. But anyway. Um, then we also have the 44 tooth sprocket with a 16 tooth in the back. Yeah, that's right. And then, sorry, I was talking to myself for a sec. Uh, then we got these nice pe uh, flat pedals here with the metal. Uh, don't know what to call it. But, um, yeah, and then we got Redline Cranks, um, and we got forks made by Answer with it saying that they're also made by Redline from the inside. Uh, they're still pretty cool, though. Got Redline handlebars. We got a, uh, headset made by Impact. They're pretty good as far as I know. The grips are some that I've seen out of the Pull Magazine. Um, uh, we didn't actually get them off of Pull Magazine or Dan's Comp. We just bought the bike from a guy at the trek that I usually go to and so uh, we got really nice redline grips they're clear they're pretty nice these bar ends are also made by redline can't really see too well um, show you from this end I don't know if you can see that necessarily but I don't care um all right I want to go show you guys the rest of my BMX stuff so just give me a second and I'll be right back so this is the rest of my BMX stuff. Uh, it's all, everything except for my helmet is made by Fox when it comes to the gear. Um, you know what, I also have a set of gloves that I can show you real quick. Yeah, they're right here. I'm going to return them to get a bigger size because I do not wear this size that they've given us. But, um, I'll bring them into the light. But we got... These really nice gloves that just top everything off. So, again, just imagine these. Let's see, I think these are a large. So, remember these as a triple XL. So, we got my uh, pants over here. We got my gloves. Shirt. Everything just blends together perfect. Can't forget the goggles that go together great with that. But wait, not enough black. That's why we got that helmet. Also, just the bike that I got for Christmas that matches all the gear just... I'm amazed with how awesome that was because it just matches all so perfectly. Um, I love it. Only bad part is we have this snow outside and it's not even the wet snow so I can't make a snowman or I can't make any cool tracks or anything for my other bike. Um, we're just stuck with this dry snow. So that's what sucks. And then we look over here. Dogs are just sitting there. <whistles> What's up? <laughs> Anyway, so, with all that said, I want to tell you guys something, and that would be, I plan to make better videos. So, when I say that, I mean, I make, I plan to make better content, better videos, more race videos, stuff like that, for both the chan this channel and my other channel. So, that's what I plan to do. And if I don't give you guys quite the good call... Uh, content that you guys want, then I'm sorry. 
but I am trying. So, anyway. Just look at the bike for a second. Okay, sorry. I tried to do something real quick, but it wasn't going to work. Um, so, what I really want to say is I'm sorry that I have not uploaded very much recently. I'm sorry that I have not been a very good YouTuber by actually checking out a lot of the comments that I should be doing. Um, but I do want you guys to know this, is that from now on, I don't plan to make um, a single... I, I plan to only make like one or two videos each winter, if that. Um, my fall videos are mostly just vlogs and stuff because it's getting close to the end of the year. Um, and then summer, I plan to do a lot better content, a lot better videos. In fact, that's going to be my most best time because I'll be out of school by then. And I'll be using my brother's brand new drone. It's not like one of those white drones and it's not very huge, but it's still pretty cool and it's got some good quality. So I'll be taking videos with that as well. And then we also got, uh, let's see what else we got in the spring. I love spring because that's when everything just shines on everything. It does, it's like, it's not too warm, but it's not too cold. So that's perfect for bikes. Um, like to go ride around and stuff. And then, uh, also if you guys want me to do any other videos, just let me know. But I do plan to throw a whole bunch more videos out there. I mean, with this new red line that I'm looking at right now, I mean, just perfect picture from here. If you think about it. Oh crap. Now it's going to get all dark and crappy on me. Wait, there we go. Sort of. Oh, took a picture on accident. Oh, well. Anyway, bottom line is I really don't want to give you guys crappy content. I want your serious opinion on what kind of content you want from me. So, recently in one of my videos, I've asked, hey, what do you guys want me to put in my videos? And I asked if BMX would be a good choice, and I've heard about one or two people respond to that. Um, if more people can respond to that, that would be awesome. By the way, I'm super pumped because um, on... For those who are watching on my Phantom Rider BMX channel that I'm on, um, that you can either see or not see right now. I don't know. I don't care. I have two channels and this is going on both of them. So don't act all confused and everything when I say stuff. But for those of you who are on my Phantom Rider BMX channel, this is um, a big change to this channel. Uh, for those of you who are on my... Um, uh, damn, what was that? Anyway, I don't remember. Uh, the Phantom something. The Random Phantom, I think, is what it was. Anyway, who cares? Bottom line is that I want to give you guys good quality content. And I want to give you guys the best content that I can give. So, if you guys can give me any ideas on what you guys want to see, then I'll do it. If it's something that I haven't done before, I don't care what it takes. Also, I made one or two videos, can't remember... Um, but we made one or two videos with my friend Tyson down in the woods and, uh, no, we went to a park, but we have done the, some wood videos. So we're going to be building a lot more jumps. We're going to be doing a lot more cool stuff. And in fact, down in the woods, I'm actually going to show you guys what I'm talking about when it hits spring and once all this snow goes away, cause I'm going to go ride my bike down there and go jump it. Um, because I found this really cool place to go jump a bike. And I'm going to go take some videos down there because it's pretty sick. Is it still rolling? Yeah, we're still rolling. Anyway, I got to cut it a little bit. I got to cut it soon. But um, anyway, bottom line is I found some sick jumps. I'm doing more BMX videos for both of my channels. And I'm going to be doing a lot more racing because that's what I'm in right now. I'm in BMX racing and I'm super pumped about it. I might even do some Seattle videos and see if I can get it back to you guys, but I'm not sure. So, in the summer, I do plan to go to Seattle, uh, so that'll be sick. Just let me know if you're down there, and I'll hook you up, like, just say what's up and tell you where I'm going um, when it comes to tracks and stuff. Let me know if you're a big fan of my channel, whether I have a lot or don't have a lot of subscribers. Um, like, I don't really have that many right now, but don't get me wrong, I'm very thankful for what I have. Anyway, I, got, I changed between way too many topics. Let's just get to the point. Like I said, sorry I have not posted very much content, but I'm trying to give you guys the best. So I don't want to just post a bunch of crap that I did in the past. 
and make it look like, well, crap. So I'm going to cut it today and just be done making videos for the rest of winter as far as I know. Because I've already done my uh, bike check like I planned to. Not in full detail, but it still did it. And then I showed you all my gear. And, oh, last thing. I need to show you the trophies. i got to show you the trophies. So I'm going to go do that real quick. And then that'll be it. All right. So we got all my trophies here. They're all pretty sick looking, um, including that one. I got some other trophies over there, but I'm not a big fan of those right now. Because this is what I'm into. So... Don't mind the bracelet. Don't mind the pocket knife. So we got, let's see, my first race. This one was for my first race. I got third, which was last place because there were only three racers. This race, I got second, and I think it was my, yeah, it was my very second race that I did. So I got second place out of three racers, and then um, all the ones that I got first place in, there were only three racers. Uh, the one that I got second place, there were four racers, and two of which were intermediate. No. All of them were intermediate, and I was the only novice. So, and I was right behind the last guy, and he was in intermediate. It was pretty fun. And this was the Halloween race, as you can see that it's, or you can't really see too much because it's stupid. It's too hard to see. Anyway, they all look pretty close to the same, but they mean completely different things. Like, if you were to break... This one, it feels different than if you were to break this one or something like that. Like, this one's more sentimental because it was my second race that I did. This one up here, I got second place. And uh, no, I did not do the state championship qualifier, but I plan to this year. <laughs> um, but they have, like, plaques and stuff, and it's pretty sick. Anyway, I'm going to stop the video because I've taken too much time already. One last thing I do want to say before I go is that if you have a BMX bike, basically... The only tools I use for mine are the Allen key hex wrenches or the Allen key wrenches or hex key, whatever you want to call them. I also only need a 15 millimeter wrench for my uh, race bike that I have right now. Uh, it's both this side and this side. Um, and I usually run with Craftsman because they work really well. And uh, American made tools are the best, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong. If you're from another country or something, then you flip out. Anyway, uh, go check out Pole Magazine. They got a lot of cool stuff. I'll show you quite a few of them that I got. These I just picked up at my local track when they were just kind of handing them out. And they got some pretty cool stuff. So, yeah. That's all of the magazines. And then there. That. Also, shout out to Dan's Comp for all the stuff that they've um, allowed us to buy, of course. Because, I mean, they're a company. So you kind of got to do that. Anyway, bottom line, Dance Comp is awesome. Go check out Redline and Haro Bikes. Those are my two favorite brands as of now because I have not really tried out anything else. So, um, yeah, just uh, if you race, then stay in it. If you don't race, then don't worry about it. Um, I don't know. That was cheesy and stupid. Uh, forget about it. Uh, wow, this video was great until the end. I gotta learn how to shut off my videos and just stop all in all. Anyway, see you guys.